to my channel thumbs up this video and join the team say hello to diesel because he's always here <laughs> look at him he's so irritating but anyways you guys are here because i'm going to do a story time about when i met this guy Ooh. i met a guy <laughs> let's say say i met a guy um why well, didn't put the other part on the leg <laughs> It'd be bright where you don't have him on there though. Oh. But um, yeah, I met this guy. I'm not, what are we gonna call him? Bob. Wayne. 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 Wee 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 wee. Like a cat. Like <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow! I didn't even. Think. <laughs> That's funny. That when you said Wayne, it still never caught to my head. <laughs> Wayne. Okay. Um. I met this guy on a dating app and his name was Wayne. Um, I'm 27, so I'm gonna say Wayne was probably like 25 going on 26. Um, not from here, whatever, um, we met. He was actually really cute. The guy was, he was cute, wasn't he cute? He was cute. He was cute, he had the tattoos, he was tall. It was a nice look. It was, it nice was a nice look. little cat, <laughs> so we thought. Um, but, damn. Let me say we was we was right on the app for like two three days, and he was real respectful. Like asked my number the right way because I'm always big on how people approach me and how they like ask my number or ask to take me out. Because most guys want to be like, "Hey, what's up, baby? Let me come to your house." Hmm? No, you're not fucking coming to my house. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? I don't even know you. What's your last name? What's your social security number? What's your mama name? You even come to my house? No. Are but you anyway, like into girls. <laughs> why? Like, are you on the damn low? Like, I need to know. Need your carfax. <laughs> Write no papers. <laughs> but, but no, um, he asked my number very, very nicely. So I'm like, okay, go ahead and give my number. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Gave my number. We texting for a good little while. We was texting for a little minute. We was FaceTime and shit. But um, he was a cop. Yeah. So that I'm like, cool. He got a, he got a decent job, Career sick, right? Young. He, and he been a cop for a minute, so like he ha he's like he has a career. Like that's what he's doing for the rest of his life. Like, shit, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing for the rest of my life. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, okay, that's cool. He was young. He had tattoos. I just I just knew he was too good to be true though. It was something. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was something. Was like what? Like but, you was telling him about your old dates and like. How, you, I, you know what? I gave him. He asked me what I did and stuff like that, and um, I told him that I do YouTube and stuff like that, and told him about my real job and stuff that I had at the time. Um, so he asked my YouTube channel. He went to my YouTube channel. He watched. Of course, he watched my story time about my birthday. Mm -hmm. About if y'all haven't watched that video, make sure I go watch that video. I'm gonna link that in this video as well. Um, my story time about the guy who stood me up on my birthday. Like wasting my fucking time on my birthday. He watched that video and was like cracking mad jokes. When I say cracking mad jokes about it, mad jokes. Like, and then you turn out to be no fucking better. Right. Like. He was talking like he understood. Like, damn, how could dude do that? Da, 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 da. Like, he just, like, that was beneath him. Like, he would never pull no behavior. Right. No like, some shit like that. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, so we text him. We, it's going good. We FaceTime him. But then I'm FaceTiming him. And this is where the signs start, the red flags. Like, I, it's not even, at first it was, I didn't pay attention to it, it was probably like, maybe like the fourth time. So I work from, I was working from home, as y'all know, I work from home or whatever, so I pretty much can talk whenever I want to. I set my schedule up myself. So I would, I don't know if he FaceTimed me first. I don't know who FaceTimed each other first. Um, no, I did FaceTime him. No. I think he FaceTimed me first and he FaceTimed me during the day. He was at work though. He worked like early hours like 6 to 2 or some shit like that. So he FaceTimed me during the day. It's mad. Probably like around noon or something. 11 o'clock. I'm mad crusty at the time. <laughs> he FaceTimed me. We talking. And then um, he ended up having to get off the phone. So he like, I'm going to call you back, blah, blah, blah. 
The nigga don't call back until the next day around the same time. But 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 mind you, we're texting still throughout the day. At night and everything. Not too late, it's quick. You gotta go to work at six o'clock in the morning. I gotta get up for him too. But um we text him, we do do he called me back at the same time the next day. I'm like, hmm. Okay. I'm really not even thinking too much about it at this point. Like, cause it's it's regular. Like we FaceTime during the day. I'm not expecting to FaceTime you at night because you're not my man. Right, right, right. Like, I'm not expecting to FaceTime you at night. We in the bed. Like, Ooh, you're so cute. And of course, people got their all different expectations on how they move when they get to know somebody. But right, right. That's not nothing I would expect either. It's just like I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me nothing. We really just starting out to get to know each other. Right, but the thing is, before we even get too deep into it, I'm just like person. I'm gonna ask you like, okay. Are you single? Mm -hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? Are you talking to anyone? Because people view things different ways. Like, people can say you single, but you're dating. You're dating multiple people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're single, but you're still dating someone. You still might have that bitch that's, that's your girl. Like, y'all just not together. But but technically, you're single because y'all are not together. You know what I'm saying? Which is a cop out. Like, y'all niggas need to grow up. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything on that because um I know how I do. Um <laughs> But um yeah, so we it's just a regular conversation, we get to know each other, like the conversation going great. And usually I text somebody and it only lasts for about three days. We text for how long was we texting? Like a month? Right. Yeah. Like like a good month maybe. Um <laughs> I don't want to just jump right into that part. <laughs> but um, no, we texting or whatever. We FaceTime. So I realized, I'm, I'm noticing that he only FaceTime me during the day. I'm like, because one time I did FaceTime him at night and he didn't answer. But then he texted me. I'm like, mm -hmm. if you see me call, why not call me back? And he was like, I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to call you back. He never called back. The next day he calls me, same around, same time again in the morning while he's at work. And he like, um... Yeah, my bad. I so and so, so and so, so and so. Whatever fucking excuse he gave me, some fucking type of excuse like like niggas do. He gave me a fucking excuse. And um, I let it ride. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not thinking too much of it until it keep going on. I'm telling Eric and April. We I, I put these people in the group text. <laughs> I put them in the group text. I'm like, something ain't right. He only and he only called me during the day while he at work mm -hmm. in the uniform in the police car. Like, and it was one time where I called him and he didn't answer, but he called me back while he was in his car, but he was going to get food. Hmm. But it was like, he literally called me as I seen him, like he was, he called me while he was in the car and he went to get this food, came back in the car. And then as he finna get out the car, cause he pulled back up at home. He like, I'm gonna call you back. So I never even seen what the fuck this inside this man's house looked like. I only seen the fucking police car. I know what kind of car he drives because he told me and I seen the inside of his real car because, you know, that one time. But any other time, he was fucking in the police car. But, um, he was cool. I'm like, I was like, okay, this might be a little vibe. You never know, you know. Mm, I don't want to say too much. But, um, long story short, I'm like, something ain't right. But, no, he, I, we, we, were, we were friends on Instagram. So, I go to his Instagram, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. He told me what his name was, but when he said it, he didn't spell it the way that it was on his badge. And I noticed that one day while we was on the, on, on the phone. His badge was, he spelled it like the regular way. You know his name. Yeah. He spelled it the regular way, but then it was a whole nother way on the right, badge. Right. So I'm like, hmm. It's like a nigga name. Like he said his name is um, Wayne, but his real name is D. Wayne. And it's just like, why are you not saying your real name? Like, why yeah. are you Pete? That's not your real fucking name. Right. Um, <laughs> so I go on his Instagram. Like, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm looking for old pictures. I could, first of all, I'm so nosy. I'm looking at the picture that you tagged in. I would, I'm, look, I'm looking for everything at this point. So I'm scrolling. I see his real name on his bad. So then, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Um. <laughs> I thought I left the hood. <laughs> no, but um, I'm scrolling. I see his stuff, and then so I end up googling it. What made me do this? I don't know. I'm just. I just Girl, inspect the gadget. I should have been the detective. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm I um Google his stuff. Come to find, 
find out this man is married. Mm. Married. And so I'm like, damn. Should I say something? Should I wait till we meet up? Because we was going to meet up like that weekend. This was like when the coronavirus first happened too. Um, Like right before it happened. Um, um, so, damn, I lost where the hell I was at. He married and I asked him, was he married? He said, he pretty much said like, I'm separated. And he, when I say he said it so fast, like that's all he had said though. He didn't say like, He didn't yeah. specify anything. He didn't specify nothing. Not nothing. I want to find the messages. <laughs> I asked his ass like, are you married? I said, so I got a question. <laughs> he was like, so I'm like, are you married? He like separated, got cheated on with the emojis like. Like when I say, that's all he said, that was all he said. So I'm like, how long you been separated? Do y'all still live together? He like, nah, I got my own spot. It's been a hot minute now. That's why I just been chilling. That's why I've been in this area. That's why I've been around. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Yo, but you know what's crazy? Now that I'm thinking back on it, what if that was like, okay. What if this is really true? What if it was true that he did get cheated on? What if it is a sore subject where it's like, damn, that shit pain me to really talk about. So why she bring that shit up? Like how she find? But I, then again, he lied about the name. So it's like he was trying to hide something. I don't know, in my opinion. I don't know. But, <laughs> Like, if you married and you separated, why not say, say it? Say that. But then again, what if it's something so traumatic where it's just like, yo, what okay, if you Okay, really if you would have came up and told me up front, I wouldn't even ask about it again. Yeah, he could have at least been like, yo, I am separated, but I don't want to talk about the, you know, the. Like, the well, I don't want to talk about that right now. They could have saved for another right day. Now. Like, I understand that because you don't even know me like that. Yeah. So that's perfectly yeah. fine, but and he, he said, he admitted that he should have told me that. So what the fuck? <laughs> so we, I'm like, what you mean in this area? And I text him that back, and this was in the afternoon, like at four or something. He never texted me back. I sent him the eyes that night, like, you know, motherfuckers in the eyes, you don't text back. <laughs> What's going on? Sent him the eyes, and he was like, nothing. Ugh. I'm just like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna leave it, go. I'm gonna let it alone. No more second chances. 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 <laughs> But, um, and then after that, I would say that the conversations kind of got, blah, 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 I'm, I'm going to read the messages. Um, he was like, honestly, I ain't know what direction we was headed. I ain't know if you were still trying to talk to me, drop me or what. So I just went off, off you and was like, if she want to talk to me, she'd hit me up. Didn't know how you felt about the situation. My whole thing was this. Just, if you would have said it up front, I would I wouldn't even have cared. Like I mean, like I'm trying to make you my that husband. That's something that really could have been like sat down and talked about. Yeah, because he was like when I say he was he was cute, he had good conversation, everything. Like, but he was a real chill ass nigga. Like, yeah, like, but it was a little, uh, it was a little iffy, it was a little fishy. But, um, we, and I ain't gonna say we completely stopped talking after he told me that. Like, we were still texting for a little bit. Then it got dry. It just kind of, we just, I just kind of like, mm, fell off the end. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of fell off the end and it, that was just what it was. But, I don't know. And I like, hate, I don't think the last time I talked to him. Probably like in April. Maybe like only in May. Oh wow. Yeah, so last time I talked to him was like last month. But it seemed like it's so much longer, longer than, than that. that. Yeah. I don't know. It's just niggas gotta keep not even niggas, but people in general, just keep it a buff about your situation. Like let the person know what the fuck it is so they can decide. So I can decide whether I wanna continue to yeah, talk to you. Like or give, not. Me don't give me that decision. Don't make me. Give me that decision. But the thing is, when I, when, <laughs> this is the good part, <laughs> when I Googled the man and found out he was married, I found all the wedding pictures, like, the whole, you know how people register, they, they wedding online, they got the pictures and all that stuff, the whole thing was, like, I don't even think I even screenshot the pictures and see them, mm -hmm. I did it. I think that was the day you called and you had us on FaceTime, but I had hung because I thought you meant, like, you call you back. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Get the 
<laughs> we so nosy. Can you my fucking drink? No, but um, <laughs> yeah, so that was the whole thing. Like, give me the option to decide whether I want him to continue to talk to you or not. Like, that's my whole thing. He's so funny. <laughs> but he was, he was cool. It's like no hard feelings on like that. Um, but I talked to him again. It, he had to come back come, right. Yeah. Like, you gotta break the whole thing. If, yeah, if he wanna talk to me again, he gonna have to break the whole thing down. Whether you wanna talk about it or not, I need to know what's up. Right, only a silly bitch walk through life with no facts. Like, I need all facts on what went down with the situation. Because I don't wanna be out here looking crazy. Right. I had one on his, his wife's Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so nosy. <laughs> Y'all, did, you did the same thing, right? Huh? You did the same thing? Yeah, why not? Mm. Make sure I ain't crazy. Hell no, that's normal. And you, and whoever the fuck say it ain't lying. You lying. Right. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's pretty much the story time. Am I missing any details? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right on the head. Right. <laughs> Sorry to that man. <laughs> Sorry to that man. I just feel like that was my last chance for like the little online dating thing. It's just not for me. Ooh, me neither. I knew it. The thing is, I knew it wasn't for me a long time ago. I just was fucking bored. Yeah. And it ain't like nobody lonely. I ain't fucking lonely. I love being in my space. It's alone. If you want to look up Aquarius, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> and me too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the story time. Ladies online dating. I know some people get successful relationships from online dating, but not me. It ain't for me. <laughs> um, maybe Instagram. That's online. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but um, I don't want to drag the story too long, but that's pretty much the story. Don't date these married men <laughs> and lead this online day long because these niggas is creeps and they be lying. Period, bro. Period. But it ain't no hard feelings. He's still, he's cool. I don't have no issue with him. He might see this video and he gonna know it's about him. But yeah. Thank y'all for watching my video. Um, also, let me know what y'all think about my story time. Like, should I continue to talk to him or should I not have? Like, did I do the right thing? Even though I know I did the right thing, but what did y'all think about the situation and how it went down? Um, should he have told me in the beginning to keep it up from me or should he have told me when he told me because maybe it was a sensitive subject or something like that? But, um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, join the team, follow me on Instagram at I am Erin Monique, and I'll see y'all in the next video.